Hi everyone, this is Gaurav and I'm going to show you how to install Java and Eclipse on a Mac computer this time. So first we install Java and to install Java we search for Java SE in any browser that you want. At the time of recording this video the version for Java is 18.0.2 and we choose Mac OS. Choose the x64 dmg installer of course if you have an arm machine then you choose arm 64 dmg installer so all those m1 m2 chips my machine is really old it's an x64 machine i'm gonna install that 170 megabytes takes about one minute on my computer i'm gonna stamp this in the final video Okay, once the installer is downloaded, click and open it. Double click on the JDK 18.0.2 package. If you get a warning, it means that you have to edit your security settings, security and privacy. Click on the padlock. fingerprint, biometrics, password, whatever it is, and click on open anywhere. Then you can open it and carry on, carry on, password, 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 and installation is complete. You can move the installer to the bin and now we'll go and install Eclipse. To install Eclipse, search for Eclipse IDE for Java developers. You can click on the first link you want, which is eclipse.org. Over here, you can see that this package was released in 2013. So we want the new package, which is available here. The current package at the time of uh, recording this video is 2022.06 and again it's x64 not ARM architecture. If you have ARM architecture then you use the other one. So again x86 underscore 64 and download. Now this will download the Eclipse installer only. And when we run that installer, we can choose which package do we want to install on our machine. So let that download. <clears throat> now that the Eclipse installer has been downloaded, click and run it. Again, the same thing, security and privacy, padlock has been opened and open anywhere and open. It, you can see that there's an Eclipse installer application. Do not move it to applications. That's the wrong thing to do. Double click on Eclipse installer and open. Now this installer allows you to install a variety of packages and the package we want to install is Eclipse IDE for Java developers which is the first one. Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Click that and this is one of the reasons why we installed Java 18 earlier and now you can see that Java 18 is in the library. Click on install. This will take about three to five minutes. Let it do let it do its thing. I'm gonna snip this in the final video as well. So surprisingly it did not take three to five minutes, it only took about 20-30 seconds, which is great. 
uh, and we can click on launch. Now, when you launch it, Eclipse IDE, if you choose a work, workspace, just use the default one and click on use this and do not ask again. Uh, because I've already got this workspace, I'm just going to use a different workspace. I'm just going to call it 2022 and launch. <coughs> When you open Eclipse for the first time, it will show you a welcome screen and you can hide it by clicking this hide button. On my computer, it's dark mode. You can always change between light mode and dark mode. Now this completes our Java and Eclipse setup. But for the sake of completeness, I'm also going to show you how to import the source code package for COM1010. For that, click on import projects click on general, click on existing projects into workspace, click on select archive file and browse. And then this is the file that we are going to give you, which is com1010 underscore source codes. Click on that. If everything goes well, there'll be a project which has a tick mark against it and you can finish. Now, if everything is fine, the project will not have any red cross or red exclamation. When you double click on source, there are lots of packages. To condense them, click on the three dots, click on package presentation and make it hierarchical. The weekly submissions are in practice package. Click on 01 introduction. Click on tests attempts. Now to check if our installation was correct, we are going to run tests attempts as JUnit test, which I'll explain in the lecture. You will notice that all 33 tests fail. All 33 of them fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the implementation for one of them, which is the cube function. So the parameter is n, which is an integer, and the function should return the cube of that number. Now the cube of the number, as we know, is the number to the power of 3, which is n multiplied by n multiplied by n. Save this. Double click on tests attempts and run it again and this time you see that only 32 out of 33 tests fail but one test which is test cube passes you can also run a single test in isolation so first we have to identify where it is because cube was in stage one sorry because cube was in stage one its test is in stage one test and here it is test cube double click on that and when you double click on the test name and then run it only that test executes and it shows that one test ran it did not return an error it did not have a failure and you get this beautiful green bar so once you complete all the tests all the functions correctly from stage one and run stage one test you will get a green bar for that as well so here i'm gonna run stage one test as a j unit test and one out of five pass which is a good start so i hope that uh, you will in really enjoy this test based uh, uh, programming which gives you a lot of feedback while you're programming and I'll explain a lot of this in the lectures as well. So see you there. Take care.